Hey everyone, Vintage Fan Collector here, and today we have a fan that I've been wanting to film for probably like eight years or longer, but I just haven't had a chance to. I'm on the family farm at one of the other houses, which I've not had a chance to really upload any fans of. And what you're looking at here is a probably 1986-85 era Emerson Northwind Hugger made by Alaska. It's uh up here in the upstairs edition of the house which is why the ceiling is so short <laughs> I mean there's my hand which I'm not super tall touching the ceiling and uh, so the only thing that will work up here is huggers of course so I'll go ahead and start it off on low which I don't know why it's not low medium high because most Alaska products were but it just isn't Looks to have the factory blade pitch, which is seemingly pretty high. I apologize about the lighting. There's really no better way to light this fan up, to be honest, up here. I don't think... Maybe these lamps work. Oh, sure enough, they do. The other one. Not like that helps super a lot. Oh, maybe it does. And then, because of my camera angle, you can see that Chance is here with me. <laughs> there we go otherwise known as that Texan collector on the tube. So this was kind of, you know, just seized by not being used or really rough to, uh, oh, that's not even a good way to describe that. It was basically just cold bearing, your typical cold bearing where it barely moved, but once we let it run for a bit it's kind of woken up. And it doesn't seem to have any issues now. No bearing noise either. Oops. So, it's pretty neat. The other two fans are Moz Highline Huggers, which are in various stages of functionality, and I'll film those in a minute. But for now, we're focusing on this. In the kitchen, there's actually a Northwind 42 inch standard model, just a regular non hugger fan. So, this is the matching fan for that, basically, which I think is pretty neat. I don't know what size motor this has, but I assume it's some kind of 153 probably. Doesn't look like it's big enough to house a 188. But it might be like a 153 by 20 millimeter or something, because it's pretty powerful for what it is. I also could be wrong that this is an Emerson, but I am pretty sure it is one of those old Emerson Northwinds. And it's possible, I don't remember if they were low medium high or not. Maybe they were high, medium, low to match the other fans that they were making. I don't remember. But it has all the look of an Alaska-made Emerson. That's what I assume it is. But if it's not that, please let me know. Because there's no real markings on it, obviously. So, Which there never were anyway when, on the North Wind. So, I don't know. I assume that's what it is. But I honestly can't say with 100% certainty. So, if it's not that, please tell me. I don't really know huggers that well because I've never I'm not a huge fan of them to be honest I grew up with only a couple like these and that's it so I don't really find them that cool but since this is a major childhood fan of mine I figured it would be worth finally putting a video out on it with my good camera that I have that's the other thing every time I've been out here since except for three years ago I haven't had this camera so yeah, it has a pretty good spin down too. I mean, obviously since the blade pitch is pretty steep, it doesn't spin forever, but it's pretty good. <clears throat> it moves a lot of air actually too for a hugger, so I'm pretty impressed with it. Actually, the spin down's gotten better uh, as it's been running because it stopped a little quicker earlier. So, I mean, this thing has not been used probably in, I, I, I imagine, since the last time I was up here, which was at least seven to eight years ago, maybe longer. So, not bad for sitting around doing nothing for all those years. So, there we go. Um, I don't want to make this video too long. So, let's, oh, kicking the tripod. There's not a lot of room. 
up here. Um, so yeah, that's uh, pretty much it. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed.